In the previous video, we learned how to create a simple search strategy on the canvas. In this video, we're going to learn how to apply this to a real world search. Let's return to the example that we saw in video one, where our research question was to investigate promoting physical activity to prevent obesity in older people. Choosing the correct terms can take some thought and effort, but to save time in this video, we've already entered our preferred terms on the canvas. To create the Boolean logic we saw earlier, we can simply drag and drop the terms to create groups like this. Or we can lasso them and type Control G, which is even quicker. We now have three groups, each using the Boolean OR operator. Since objects on the canvas are anded by default, that gives us the semantics we want. If we want to verify how our search looks as a traditional Boolean string, we can click on the Query tab, and there it is. Once we've done all this work, we don't want to lose it, so we can save our search to the cloud in our own personal file space. Note that when you log on to 2D Search, you get a set of examples and templates for free. If you want to share the search with someone, you can create a shareable link using this button. It works very much like Dropbox, as anyone clicking on the link will be taken directly to your search strategy. And what's more, they'll be able to run it for themselves. It's a good idea also to name the various parts of your search strategy in case you want to use them again later. For example, if I was a clinician, I want, might want to label this intervention and this part condition and this block population. In our next video, we'll learn how to harness the power of the canvas to build smarter and more effective search strategies.